Shalom, this is GMS Holland Sit Downs coming back with a lesson. I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai Ba'asham Rakakadash, the bonds to the elder apostle of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect out there that are spreading this word and succeeding in the truth all over the four corners of the earth. Khan, this is going to be a quick hit. Um, basically, verse of, no, no, let me say this is going to be a verse of the day. You know, because uh, I was reading this uh, in Germany this morning before we left. I'm on my way home now from Germany to Holland. And I was uh, reading this, you know, because uh, the thing is, you know, when, when you see the landscape, when you see uh, 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 the land and, and the trees and nature and all those type of things, when you basically see the beauty of the earth and then you realize what what kind of predicament we are in man that is grievous and that that is a, a, a very vexing you know so in the morning i woke up and i was reading the scripture which says uh, ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 18 for in much wisdom is much grief and he that increased knowledge increased sorrow you see that so the more knowledge wisdom and understanding you have the more you know and realize that we are actually supposed to inherit this earth man in uh, like the whole earth it's it's supposed to be ours man when you realize that that is when the grief and the vexation and the sorrows kick in man because you are not feeling you're not feeling well in the society you're not feeling well in the system you want the system to be done man because why? The scripture says we have no we have no rest here. We have no dwelling place here. And that's that's literal, man. Because none of these countries that are that we are living in is ours, man. You might have certain West African parts where, where Jake is actually a, a, a so-called president and stuff, but they are still bound down to the so-called white man. Because they come in and rape and rob and murder and those are those things like if you find out that that shit is going on if that 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 shit is happening because you increase that knowledge you increase that wisdom like your your vision becomes broader if you have that that's the point when you get more sorrowful man you get more sorrowful you you have more grief because your wisdom knowledge and understanding is increasing you know and what's happening with the people in this world they don't want to hear man they don't want to see when you talk about what they did to us in slavery you know they don't know it and then when you start talking about it jake likes to put his hands on his ear man say like like he doesn't want to hear it why the fuck you don't want to hear it man because he don't want to increase wisdom knowledge and understanding because that wisdom knowledge and understanding that he's gonna have is gonna create hatred it's gonna it's gonna turn into hatred okay it's gonna turn into sorrow it's gonna turn into into anger but that's the world we are living in man you can't you can't um just be like yeah as long as i don't know uh, uh, uh it, it's better or if i don't know then it's better for me to uh, to uh, sustain myself in this kingdom you have to know what the hell they are doing man and we are living in a time Wherein the Heavenly Father is, is revealing all the wickedness of Esau. So you can't be like, hey, I don't want to know because then I'm going to uh, be sorrowful. I was speaking about this in the camp uh, uh, when we was teaching in Germany. I was speaking about this, man. I was telling the, basically during the teachings, like, you have these people around here, everywhere in the world, that say, you have certain people that say they rather not look at news. There was this one uh, one man, he said he'd rather not look at news because he's gonna feel sorrowful. Because you are increasing knowledge. When you look at the news, you are increasing knowledge. You are learning about what is going on in this, in this earth, man. You're learning about what is going on in this earth. And that, when you see that, that is gonna make you sorrowful. So, the, 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 um, average person out there in this society in this kingdom doesn't want to see what is going on in this earth man because it's it it, it, it turns your heart into sour uh, 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 
yeah, it, it turns it into sourness. <laughs> yeah, your, your mind becomes sour even more. Better yet said, bitter, man. Your mind gets bitter. Okay? Because this whole goddamn place is bitter, man. And this place is goddamn. You know, but when you walk out there and you, you, you learn about the landscape and, and the places that we used to own, we, we were staying in a house across the Moorish ca castle, man. Jake made that castle. But what did what did Esau do with it? They put a goddamn restaurant in that in that castle, man. They put a goddamn restaurant in that castle. And then we went to this other castle, which was uh, created by Esau in the 1600s. And then uh, uh, they renovated that shit, man. And made it all beautiful and, and turned it into a, into a museum. You see? And they know that these castles, a lot of castles over there in Germany, uh, is from, is Jake, Jake built that, man. In Germany, you had the, uh, you had the Saxons and you had the Jutes. Those were those uh, Germanic tribes, man, that eventually traveled towards Holland, and from Holland, they uh, from Holland they uh, migrated to um, to England, man, and then the uh, the Saxons started to mix with the Anglo's, and that turned into the Anglo-Saxons, which which is super spiritual, because Anglo is angel, and Saxon is Isaac's son, so basically those two combined. It says the angelic sons of Isaac. You see that? So that's heavy, man. But like when you when you learn about what what happened and how Esau conquered us and how Esau turned us upside down, you get angry, man. You get vexed because you really want this place to, to, to come to an end, man. You want to conquer all these places. You you want to have those places in possession again, just like how it used to be, man. Okay. Another one, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression make it a wise man mad, and the gift destroyed the heart. So a wise man, he will get vexed by oppression. Why? He knows what's going on. A wise man will know what's going on. Okay? He will see what the fuck you are doing, man. Because you have these devils. They think they slick. They think they know what... Uh, uh, they think they can get away with a lot of stuff. You know, that's what the devil does, right? But a wise man will see will, will see what he's doing. A, a wise man will, will see and understand, like, hey, this devil is, is playing around, man. And that oppression is going to make him mad. So, us... Getting wiser and wiser by the day, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem we we are we are getting vexed day in and day out, man. More vexed day in and day out, and more sorrowful because you know it's not supposed to be like this. You know we're supposed to be kings upon the earth, but guess what? Yahweh Shai gave us the Comforter. You see, Yahweh Shai said, if if I don't go away. Then the comforter cannot come, which is the spirit. Through the spirit, we go into the scriptures, and, and we understand. It's lucky we understand the scriptures, which the scriptures is the comforter combined with the with the with the spirit, man. The wisdom, knowledge, understanding. We know that we have to suffer throughout all these things, man. But still, your mind is going to be vexed, man. Your mind is going to be sorrowful, man. Looking at this shit, we was driving, and uh, we saw grass growing through the concrete, man. I see grass grow, uh, growing through the concrete right now. That's powerful, man. We are go going to see this, this place go under, man. We're going to see this place go down. And you're going to have certain places that are not going to be inhabited, man. Mainly America. And all this bullshit that we see around us, you know, the roads, the, the highways, the, 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 those buildings, those the skyscrapers, all that shit is going to be flattened man <laughs> the brother the brother made a made a dope statement he said hey i wish i said you, you're gonna be able to move mountains right <laughs> so the brother said like i'm gonna I'm a move a mountain and drop it right on this on this bullshit uh, city man on a bullshit city drop it right on it man bury that shit flatten it flatten it and bury that shit man and that's heavy man 
we 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 don't desire to stay in this kingdom any longer, man. Here it is. You know, I had dope time with brothers, man. You know, going places, visiting locations. Here it is. You gotta go back to fucking slavery tomorrow again, man. This place is not made for us, man. This place is not made for us. That's why the scripture also says this. Amos 6 and 1. Woe to them that are at ease in Zion and trust in the mountain of Samaria, which are named chief of the nations to whom the house of Israel came. Yeah, woe, woe to them that are at ease, man. They have the scripture. Uh, uh, let me see. Also in Amos. Micah, Salakia. Micah chapter 2 verse 10 Arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted it shall destroy you even with the sore destruction but guess what Jake that is at ease you know woe to them meaning destruction to them of, of Zion uh, to, the, uh, to the people of Israel that are at ease in Zion woe unto them and destruction unto you if you don't increase knowledge the way you should if you don't see that we are being oppressed day in and day out. If you can't see that, man, woe unto you. Because the, the truth is not in you, man. The truth is not in you. So we got to arise and depart. Depart from what? From the from this this mentality, uh, uh, the mentality of this kingdom, man. We got to arise and depart from that. But when you arise and depart from that, that is when you're going to catch hell, man. That's when you're going to feel sorrowful. That's when you're going to feel... Like, you want to get the fuck out of this place, man. That's why you're going to see that. So, the scriptures speak about the bitter and the sweet. But your mind has to be the... No, you, so, back to the scripture, your mind has to depart out of this, this mind state of, of this kingdom, man. But like I said, that is going to increase your sorrow. That's going to increase your sorrow. Because why? The scripture says this. Let me read it again. Ecclesiastes 1 18. For in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. So that's, that's what comes with this truth, man. Sorrows. But we have to go through these things, man. Because like the scripture in 1 Thessalonians 3 and 3 says. We are appointed there unto, man. We are appointed to the afflictions and the sorrows and the hell that comes with this truth man because of that wisdom that wisdom is gonna show you like this place and shit man you got you have uh, you have retarded people they they can be so happy because why they are not they are not smart they are not wise they have they lack understanding but they are very happy and that's exactly the reason they lack understanding the same thing goes for people that don't want to watch news. That don't want to see what's going on in this world. They are very happy. Because they lack understanding. They don't know what the hell is going on. They don't know that all kinds of bullshit is going on in this world, man. Like in Spain, they have a um, uh, uh, sex doll brothels. Where you, as a man or woman, can have sex with the, uh, with the, with the doll. That is, for example, a man, a male doll, you know, and you a male, if you don't, uh, they call it, if you are bi-curious, but if you are bi-curious, then you can experiment with that doll, you know, to find out if you a faggot. You see, that, that is madness, man. Now, if you, if you don't know nothing about that, that that shit is going on in this earth, then you're going to... You're gonna you're gonna be full of full of happiness man you're gonna you're gonna be happy in a society you got a job you know you got maybe wife and kids but a man that is in the known a man that is in the known and he sees the world for what it is he's gonna be he's gonna be um, full of sorrow he's gonna be full of sorrows sorrows even though he might have a wife and family uh, he, he might have a, a family you know children 
sons and daughters, he's still going to be sorrowful, man. Because he knows this, this queendom is, is a piece of shit queendom, man. And it's not made for us. This system is made to go against us and how we are. Because we're supposed to walk in the upright ways. But since Esau wants to, you know, rule the world in wickedness, we can't walk upright uh, as we want in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, man. Okay, so Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sore destruction. You see that? It shall destroy you even with the sore destruction, because this system is not made for you. So when you see, when you learn that this system is to destroy you, when you learn that, that's when you increase uh, uh, with, um, it's like a sorrow, man. Hey, this motherfucker is really trying to kill me, man. This motherfucker is really trying to, you know, uh, uh, lower the immune system of my children due to these vaccinations, man. Hey, this motherfucker really wants to, you know, because children die from vaccinations, man. They die in their sleep. This motherfucker really wants to kill my children. Like, what, 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 what do, what happens when, when a, 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 a man a, a attempts to murder your child? You gonna flip the fuck out, man. You gonna do, you gonna hurt him in in a, in a way that he will not be able to to uh, uh, retell the story of what happened, man. He's gonna drink out of a straw, man. If he's even gonna be able to drink, you see. Now that is what these devils are doing. They are trying to murder your children. So when you find out, when you learn, when you when you increase.